So I recently put out a video that a few hundred of you saw over the weekend. The basis of this video was to discuss the dangers of robotic affirming and how it's not all what it's cracked up to be for many followers in LOA. I specifically stated in the beginning of the video that the video is not intended to be a diss, even though it would sound like one. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let you hear it, how I said it in the original video that I put out. Let me say this. I'm not making this video in any way, shape, or form to diss Sammy Ingram, even though this video is gonna sound like a Sammy Ingram diss. I have to shout her out just like I shouted out the other content creators in my past videos. She has done a phenomenal job at marketing and branding herself and convincing her followers that robotic affirming is 100% the way to go. However, with that said, that doesn't mean that I agree with every single thing that she says, just like I don't agree with some of the things that some of these other great teachers say. So I just want everybody watching this video to take a look at these things objectively with me and to turn off your offensive ears and to not be a Offended and to try to understand with your analytical logical mind what I'm getting ready to get into. So before you Sammy Ingram mermaid, yay, yay, yay. Come after me like the gang that y'all are, because trust me, y'all are a gang from some of the stuff that I heard, people that I've worked with, clients that I've worked with, y'all literally defend Sammy like y'all are blood related. Y'all literally defend Sammy like she's Beyonce and y'all are the beehive, except she's not Beyonce and y'all are not the beehive. She is Sammy and y'all are the mermaid. But again, shout out to Sammy because affirming is clearly working for her, considering the cult-like following that she has built and the success that she has had in this space in a very short period of time. So Sammy, hats off to you. With all that being said, the real question now is, is robotic affirming working for you? Not Sammy, is robotic affirming working for you? And despite all the comments you may read on her videos or wherever her posts or blogs are at, the answer for is robotic affirming working for most of the people is a resounding no. In that video that you just saw, I also included original screenshots in a video from another fellow content creator in the law of attraction, law of assumption space that were taken from her Instagram stories detailing some of her followers and their horrific experiences with robotic affirming. So basically my intention was to make a video detailing how this other fellow content creator and myself were on the same page about how robotic affirming is not what is cracked up to be. Before I put out the video, I had mentioned to the content creator that I really liked her examples that she had posted in her Instagram story. And I told her I may use your content to make a video to talk about the dangers of this, how robotic affirming is not what is cracked up to be and how toxic it actually can be. However, I did a poor job at explaining to her exactly how I was gonna put the video together because quite frankly, at the time, I didn't even have any idea of how I was gonna put the video together until it actually happened and I put it together. So I proceeded to put the screenshots from her original IG stories message as well as her video from her IG stories. And unfortunately, in her eyes, the video that I produced came off as too much of an attack. So at her request, I removed the video and I apologized to her. She did offer for her and I to make another video that was more friendly and less attacking to discuss how serious robotic affirming could actually be. So will we end up making that video? I don't know, we'll see. But when she wanted me to take it down, I felt it was only right to reach out to you guys, the viewers, and to let you guys know exactly what happened from the horse's mouth. And I get it, not everyone is comfortable with tackling these difficult subjects in the LOA space and are especially not comfortable with name dropping or video dropping, putting other people's content in their videos with their faces showing. I mean, the backlash can be real. We truly do live in an era right now where so many people, whether you're on TV, off TV, on the internet, off the internet, so many people are afraid to be canceled. So many people are afraid to have their messages perceived wrong and misconstrued. So they'd rather take the safe route and not bring up these topics or bring up names and talk about these difficult topics. So let me take this time to say to you, let me be very clear. I am not one of those people. I don't have that problem. Cancel culture is a joke to me. Just because I have my own opinion on something and don't agree with you or don't agree with whatever coach or YouTuber you're watching, all of a sudden you wanna cancel me now? I am the last person on earth that is afraid of losing subscribers or not gaining subscribers because of how I feel on a topic or giving my opinion. I want to speak my truth and I will speak my truth. I'm not afraid of how my image is gonna be damaged or how I may look in the public eye or in the LOA space or the LOA community, whatever you wanna call it. Because I realized even if you don't name drop or even if you don't do things in a controversial way, people are still gonna attack you for your opinion just because you have an opinion that's different than theirs. Side note, I want all of you guys watching this video to remember the rule 
of 10. And this is for any area of your life, no matter what profession you're in, no matter what you're doing in your life, you could just be giving your opinion on something. Never forget the rule of 10. And the rule of 10 goes like this. There will always be three people that like what you're talking about, three people that dislike what you're talking about and don't agree with it. And then there will be four people that are completely oblivious to what's going on. All right, so don't ever forget the rule of 10 because this will help you deal with criticism when it comes your way. I mean, think about all of these LOA teachers that have come before 2024. Think about Neville. I'm pretty sure people probably attack Neville, even though Neville wasn't maliciously trying to attack people probably during his time frame. I go on the internet all the time and I see law of assumption people attacking Abraham Hicks for all of her opinions. And I've never seen Abraham Hicks ever say anything mean or nasty about anybody but yet here she is still getting attacked even though she's not name dropping or being nefarious in any manner in my opinion all of these people literally still get attacked even though they keep it pg even though they keep it clean so if i'm going to get attacked anyway i might as well get attacked while speaking my truth i want everybody to pay attention to what the f i'm about to say a coward dies a thousand deaths a soldier dies but once don't ever forget that shit. and i'm a soldier and with that being said now that the smoke is cleared i am 1 million percent doubling down and standing 10 toes down on the video that i just put out in regards to how toxic robotic affirming can be and quite frankly is to a lot of people out there trying to manifest things especially a specific person even with some of the videos i put out a few weeks ago i'm standing 10 toes down 10 toes I don't care who the content creator is. Bottom line, robotic affirming does not work for a lot of people the way some of these content creators are pushing it to work and can cause serious health problems. As I stated in the original video that I put out, people are literally experiencing panic attacks, having nervous breakdowns, having to go to the hospital and be put on antidepressants, as well as go to therapy amongst other issues. Autoimmune diseases is a big one, all because they tried the shiny object syndrome in order to try to get an SP back extremely quick, even though it wasn't working for them. They continued to force the issue. There are 100% other, better, more healthier ways to try to manifest the specific person or anything rather than using robotic affirming and to be very frank with you a lot of you aren't ready for a robotic affirming and one of the big reasons you're not is because you've gotten caught up in the gimmicks of manifestation you've gotten caught up in the gimmicks of robotic affirming i actually have a quick video i want you guys to watch here about maybe five minutes long or so from master Sri akarshana a very big youtuber i'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen some of his videos over the years he most recently about a week or so ago put out a video discussing why he quit law of attraction and i want you guys to watch this video really quick because i think it is an eye opener and something that a lot of people don't realize is happening in the space so let's take this time right now to take a look at his first and second point which is what i want to focus on and then after that we can reconvene <laughs> So it's been over a month now since I made the video saying that I'm done with Law of Attraction. And since then, there's been uh, tens of thousands of messages that have come through asking me why I'm done with Law of Attraction. Is it that Law of Attraction has stopped working? Is it that uh, you are working on burnout or what's actually going on? And I, I felt compelled to actually finally make this video to at least give you guys an open and honest answer to what actually happened. And so in this video, I decided to break it down into three parts. Why I decided to, to stop producing non-stop back-to-back content on Law of Attraction. And I believe when I, when I start sharing the final point, it's gonna shock a lot of you. The first reason why I decided to stop teaching Law of Attraction is because I realized as good as the whole movie, The Secrets, and the book, The Secret, went out and everyone was visualizing things and manifesting things. That's only one part of the spectrum. But there was also millions of people that became lazy because of Law of Attraction. I don't know if you guys can resonate with what I'm saying here, but I would receive, even till today, thousands of messages every single day from a lot of kids who are still at college and they are always asking me 
Master, how do I manifest good grades in my exams? I would love to be able to say, tap on your third eye three times and uh, visualize something. But the reality is you got to study. You got to put in the hard work. I think when I give that type of response, people usually react and say, well, that's not law of attraction. Well, it is because the word action is involved in attraction. I believe some people become dependent on law of attraction. I'm not saying it's not good. Obviously it works, it's powerful. I've used it, many millions of people around the world have used it and it works, but we cannot become dependent on it because we are physical material and metaphysical. We're spirit in a human body, meaning that can we do spiritual or metaphysical visualization practices and focus our energy differently? Of course we can. But at the same time, to claim our manifestations, you got to take physical action. You guys just noticed that, didn't you? The light went off. <laughs> I think that's a sign for us to get out of this room. <laughs> uh, actually, it was, it was very cold. I don't know if you guys see, but um, we are in Dubai. It's supposed to be really warm. And I'm wearing like a jacket and all this and people are thinking what's going on but it's because uh, it's uh, they do cloud seeding here. I don't know if you guys heard of it before. Because there's no rain in Dubai. Only in people in UAE will know about this but because there's no rain in Dubai um, they cloud seed and they make the, 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 the fake rain and because it's been raining a lot it's getting cold actually which is quite strange for somebody who lives in the desert. We're talking about point number two, the reason why I decided to stop doing low attraction videos was because there's just too many gimmicks out there right now. Do you know, do you know what I mean by gimmicks? I, like, I started this YouTube channel in, back in 2018 doing low attraction videos and uh, I think even if you search anywhere on YouTube, if you just search manifestation or law of attraction, this channel is probably the one that comes up first every single time. While we've been like teaching genuine breath work stuff, visualization work, meditation stuff, there's just so many up and coming influencers or YouTubers or kids that are coming up into this space, teaching all of these press here, five seconds, press here, seven seconds, spin around anti-clockwise and, you know, do this with the water, do this, tear the paper this way and do it this. And quite frankly, you know, sometimes I look at all these influencers creating this content because of how algorithms work and because of how vulnerable and gullible most people are, they make so many trending videos on how to manifest winning the lottery using law of attraction. I want all of us for a moment to just have a think. How many times do you think that influencer has won the lottery using the law of attraction? I'm saying the ones that are teaching you. And so when I started to see all these people coming up with all these tricks and clickbait titles and all the rest of it. And I'm here thinking, dude, <laughs> there is no 2024 law of attraction strategy because it's the same as five years ago or 10 years ago. I think I just felt like, do I really want to be associated with this type of teaching? And that's what it is because it just was no longer fitting in with my authentic self and my belief. Law of attraction to me is, it's, it is a foundation behind it. Once you master that foundation, you can manifest anything you want in life. You don't need to stop pressing here or pressing there or use this and bend it backwards or... It's, it's thoughts, feelings and actions. And so how many more thousands of videos can I create talking about the same topic over and over again when I've already created 2,340 uh, uh, videos talking about it? So anyway, you guys take what you want to take from it. But in my personal opinion, the foundations, I've probably covered a million times already on this channel. And there are no extra gimmicks to it. If you align your thoughts, you align your feelings, you align your actions, you're going to manifest what you want. I literally could not agree more with the stuff that he said in his video in his first two points.
This first point on law of attraction making people lazy, I've kind of touched on this in the past in some of my videos. Basically what I stated is taking action doesn't work the way that a lot of us think it's gonna work. Very few people in my opinion understand taking action when it comes to this law of attraction, law of assumption, manifestation stuff. Most people will struggle with the concept of taking action because they think they don't have to. And why don't they think they have to? Because many people have been studying Neville Goddard's work and when you study law of assumption, it teaches you you don't have to take action. In the words of Neville Goddard, you won't have to lift a finger. Or you're watching another YouTuber that's telling you, you don't have to take action. But something I've said religiously in my past videos is most of you are not at that level of not taking any action. See, the thing is, in my opinion, a lot of you may be able to not take action when it comes to small things. But when it comes to big manifestations that you want to happen in your life, there is no way most of you guys will ever be able to get to the point to where you don't take any action. But see, what happens is you guys read comments and YouTube videos or on Reddit or wherever you're at watching this stuff and you get excited like, oh, look, see, this person right here didn't take any action. This person over here didn't take any action. I know it's possible. But what have I said religiously in the past for those that have been on my channel for quite some time now? It sounds good. It feels good. The thought of thinking, oh, I can get what I want very quickly and I don't have to move a finger in order to get it. But the reality is most of us will never or very slowly reach that point. A lot of us have way too many subconscious blocks around the thought of action. So many of us have been brainwashed into taking action to get whatever it is that we want. So many of us have been brainwashed to think there's no way I can just sit around and manifest by doing nothing. And the truth is we can 100% sit around and manifest things without doing nothing. But the facts are is that most of us that's not going to be our truth because our brain and our heart isn't in coherence. We're fighting. Our conscious mind is fighting with our unconscious mind. And when the two aren't married, when you say to the mountain move, the mountain is not going to move because they are not married. The harsh reality is for most of us, in my opinion, most of us are going to have to take some sort of action in order to manifest the things that we want in our lives. A lot of people that have crazy beliefs or a lot of people that don't have subconscious blocks, these are the people, in my opinion, that can do things and say things and they show up very, very quickly because they don't have the resistance that a lot of people have. And so for a lot of us, we have so much resistance that it's gonna take us time to say our affirmations or to do our visualizations in order for whatever it is that we want to show up, to show up. I'm not saying this stuff to discourage you and to make you think, oh, you gotta take all of this action. That's totally not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is most likely you're gonna have to take steps and come up with something that works for you that's slowly gonna get you to that point to where you get to a space where you don't need to take action in order to manifest. But what I'm saying is you have to work your way up to that. For most of us, we're not just gonna be born with that ability to just think something or speak something or feel something and then it just show up in our reality with us taking zero action. Also too, Master Shree makes a great point about the gimmicks. And that is exactly what robotic affirming has become to me, in my opinion, is a gimmick. Not saying that robotic affirming doesn't work because it 100% works, but teachers and YouTubers have taken robotic affirming and turned it into a gimmick. They've dressed it up and they've convinced you that, yeah, all you need to do is affirm and affirming works super fast. And that just simply isn't the truth for a lot of people. It's true for some, but not many in my opinion. It definitely works, but not the way and not as fast as most people would like to think that it does. And this goes back to my point earlier, too many subconscious blocks, the heart and mind not being married. Also, his point about the lottery was spot on. How many people are out here making videos trying to teach you how to manifest winning the lottery and have they ever done it? Or some of these people out here telling you how to manifest a specific person and they don't even have a specific person. And another great point he mentioned, I believe he brought up younger YouTubers or he brought up teenagers. Some of these people out here creating content. I'm not saying that young people can't make content and I'm not saying that young people don't know what they're talking about, but some of these people creating content haven't even lived life yet. I'm not saying that they can't be right about some of the points that they make, but some of these people get on YouTube or wherever they wanna go as 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds and they wanna make channels and talk about this stuff as if they have all of this life advice that they can give you on how to manifest. And the dangers with some of that stuff is, is if you've never had your heart broken before, if you've never been in debt, if you've never been broke, if you've never been poor, if you've never been none of these things, it's hard in my opinion to try to tell people that have been in that spot what to do because you've never really been there. So explaining to somebody how to manifest the SP 
after having a broken heart or explaining to somebody how to manifest the SP when you've never been in multiple relationships or whatever the case may be. How can you really truly do that and understand what these people are going through if you've never been there? If you've never been poor before, of course it's probably easy for you to manifest money. If you've never been through heartache before, if you've never had a traumatic experience as a kid of being assaulted or whatever, of course it's easy for you to probably manifest a relationship and keep a relationship potentially. But how can you walk those people through it that have actually gone through it? How can you empathize with them and all of the above? Again, I'm not trying to shit on any young content creator, but I think Master Shree makes a great point when he brings up younger creators or younger people trying to teach this stuff, considering the fact that, yeah, it might be easy for you to manifest because you don't have all of these subconscious traumatic blocks in your subconscious mind because you had an easier life. But speaking of gimmicky, I want to take you back to my original video to discuss over how the gimmicks can potentially backfire for you as a content creator and what's not being talked about enough which is a lot of these coaches in my opinion and I'm not saying Sammy's one of them but a lot of these coaches in my opinion they care more about money than actually helping people get long lasting effective results I want you all to just think about those couple of comments that I just read how many more comments like that do you think are out there from people following these types of content creators that make you believe and think all you gotta do is affirm something 10,000 times or whatever the number is and that you're gonna get what you want in a very short period of time. For most people, you will not train your subconscious mind that way. It's not gonna work. For some, yes, 100% it can, as I've said in my past videos. But for a lot of people, they're getting results just like what I read to you. But see, with coaching and with anything in life, just as with Instagram, just as with TikTok a lot of times, a lot of times people aren't posting the bad reviews that they get. They aren't posting the bad results of their life. Instagram and TikTok usually is a high highlight reel for everybody's high points in life. They never post the failures. And this manifestation stuff is the same way. People never post their failures or talk about their failures, especially coaches. Coaches want you to think part of marketing, et cetera. Coaches want you to think that their techniques will always work 100% of the time, or that if you follow this way, you're gonna get what you want in 24 hours or 48 hours. And the reality is, is it will not be that way for most of us. It's going to take time. But side note, do you know what's not being talked about enough? The legal ramifications some of these coaches in my opinion need to be very 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 careful i had to say it thrice with what kind of message they are disseminating to the people that are watching their content because i don't know of anybody getting sued yet but what i just read to you guys i can definitely see a potential lawsuit happening from something like that occurring i mean a couple of those viewers that posted you're talking about these people having nervous breakdowns having to go to the hospital and having to be put on antidepressants i don't think people realize how serious that is that could literally be a lawsuit in the future for somebody who knows how much money this person's parents spent on going to the hospital and on antidepressants and going to therapy sessions i mean this is madness see what most of you have to understand is most of us in this law of attraction law of assumption space do not have any sort of certificates degrees licenses whatever you want to call it the self-help industry is really an industry that is not regulated in my opinion yes you have people that can become psychologists yes you have people that can become therapists but outside of that life coaching really isn't an area or field that is really regulated most of us in this space are just random people on youtube that studied law of attraction law of assumption for however long and decided to start a YouTube channel and talking about it to other people and teaching other people potentially. And for whatever reason, some of you viewers out there just really took a liking to our content and followed us and wanted to work with us. But that doesn't mean everything that we're saying is 100% right or that we know 100% of the time what we're talking about. And that is why I specifically on my channel in the description at the bottom, I have basically a warning, my viewer consent warning stating that I am not a licensed person in any area. I am not a licensed therapist. I am not a licensed psychologist. I am somebody that has just been studying this stuff for the past, whatever, 10 years or so. And I decided to start a YouTube channel. So whatever I talk about in my videos, follow at your own risk because I am not licensed. I am not licensed. Most of the people you are following are probably not licensed. And also speaking of costing, a lot of you guys, it's gonna cost you way more money than it originally should have cost you because what I've said in my past videos is you guys are going to these YouTubers that make you think you're gonna get fast results by doing it this way or that way. You go to these YouTubers that because they have 100,000 subs 
or 300,000 subs or a million subs, you guys get caught up on shiny object syndrome. And you go to these big YouTubers and you think, oh, they must know what they're talking about. They got 2 million followers or they got 500,000 followers or they got 1,000 followers. Subscriber count don't matter. It's people with 100,000 subs that don't know what the hell they talking about. And then it's people that have 500,000 subs that don't know what the hell they talking about. But then there's people that have 100,000 subs and they do know what the hell they're talking about. Most of this stuff is subjective. And then there's people like me, who I have fewer subscribers than all of these people. My message and what I'm saying resonates with a hell of a lot of people. And when they hear my message, they know, yo, this guy is real. This guy knows what he's talking about. I'm gonna listen to him, even though he might not be at 200,000 subs yet. Because I really believe real recognizes real. People can sense out and sniff out somebody who's true, genuine, and authentic, and who is not about, oh, I just wanna take your money and run with it. Because like I'm saying about costing, what most of you guys don't realize is you guys are gonna end up spending way more money because you're going to these YouTubers, coaches that make you believe you're gonna get these results overnight. And then when you don't get results overnight or you end up getting panic attacks or anxiety attacks or whatever the case may be, and you have to start taking antidepressants, now you're spending way more money because now you gotta treat the anxiety disorders. Now you have medication you have to buy, especially if you don't have insurance, you have to take this medication to try to make you better. On top of the two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars, a thousand dollars that you might have paid a YouTube coach. Let's do the math real quick. You paid a YouTube coach however much money, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars, a thousand bucks. Now you gotta pay somebody to get your medication or to deal with these anxiety disorders or to go to therapy, right? Say that doesn't work. Now you come to somebody like myself or Agnes, and now you gotta pay them whatever their fee is to try to help you potentially undo the harm that you got when you work with this YouTuber up here. So it's like three stages. So stage one is you try to get the microwave manifestation. You try to go that route. You try to get the quick fix. You try to get your specific person back overnight. So you go work with a Sammy Ingram or you go work with some of these other manifestation coaches that make you think, oh, I'm gonna get what I want this week, this month, and it doesn't work. And then now stage two is you're stuck going to therapy or stuck taking antidepressant medications. And then stage three, now you're trying to work with another manifestation coach such as myself or whoever to try to help undo what you did right here to help you undo all of the trauma and stuff that you developed from working with this manifestation coach that made you think, oh yeah, this is gonna happen for you in the next 72 hours. And when it doesn't happen in the next 72 hours, now you feel like manifestation doesn't work. Now you feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now you feel like a failure. If you guys would have just in the beginning came to somebody like myself, you would have probably never developed any of those symptoms from robotic affirmative. You would have never developed anxiety disorders. You would have never developed panic attacks. You would have never had to go to therapy sessions. You would have never had to go on antidepressants. If you would have just took our way or listened to us, you would have 100% saved your time, which is most important. You would have also 100% saved your money, which is important. And number three, you probably would have still ended up getting what you wanted or something better. Or at best, you would have found a real practical way to help deal with whatever you're going through on the 3D level. And that's some shiny object syndrome that makes you think and feel, oh, if I do it this way, I'm gonna get what I want. The old cliche saying is very real. The turtle always wins the race. And I know a lot of you guys don't like hearing that, but the turtle always wins the race because the turtle is taking his time. The rabbit, you guys know how fast rabbits move. You guys know how fast squirrels move. Squirrels move. You guys know how fast all that stuff moves. How many times have you seen a dead squirrel in the middle of the street? Turtles don't get hit like that. Turtles gonna get killed because these things take their time. And with manifestation, I know you guys don't like to hear this, but you must, a lot of you, take your time. Manifestation does not work in this fast way. A lot of us think it's gonna work or we want it to work. It can work that way, but it'll take you time most likely to build your confidence level up, to build your belief level up, to heal your subconscious mind. It'll take you time for you guys to get to that point to where manifestation will begin to work fast for you. In the beginning, nothing works fast for us. Think about how long it takes a lot of us to learn how to walk. And then think about how fast it takes a lot of us to learn how to run. And then think about how fast or slow 
it takes a lot of us to learn how to ride a bike. There's levels, things go through levels. And like I told you guys before, with manifestations, yeah, it would be nice to get manifestations quickly, but a lot of times when we get manifestations quickly, we lose it quickly as well. And that's something we don't think about. And also too, think about when you cook food and you put it in a microwave for 30 seconds. How good does that really taste when you go buy a frozen dinner and you put that shit in the microwave and you press two minutes and then you pop out and it's ready? How good does that food really taste versus food that you actually cook from scratch and you put it in the oven or you put it on the stove and it takes an hour or two hours to cook and it's homemade food from one of your favorite people or from one of your favorite restaurants. It tastes a hell of a lot better and it satiates and it lasts longer and it makes you feel so damn good compared to when you eat the fast food. Wake up. Wake the f up. Let this be a huge wake up call once again, that this robotic affirming isn't all what it's cracked up to be. And if you do decide to do robotic affirming, I recommend you do robotic affirming the way an Emil Quay would do robotic affirming, which is sometime in the morning or sometimes at night. As Neville says, stay the kid to sleep. When you first wake up in the morning or when you're about to go to sleep at night, take that time, that last 10, 15 minutes before you go to sleep to do robotic affirming or to visualize or whatever the case may be. When your subconscious mind is starting to become fertile to go into that theta state. And then when you're in sleep, you're in that delta. There literally is no need and there is no point for most of us, if not all of us, to walk around the entire day affirming 10,000 times or 100,000 times or whatever the number is for anything that you want in your life. That is too much pressure and too much anxiety. It deregulates your nervous system. And anybody that knows about the nervous system knows how important regulating your nervous system is. And all of these affirmations just won't work and it's just not necessary and it's not sticking to your subconscious mind anyway. And this is the exact reason why when all of you guys go throughout your day, and you affirm 10,000 times or whatever the number may be, this is why it doesn't work. This is why it feels like a job because you're not doing it at a time when your subconscious mind is relaxed. I've said religiously in the past videos that I've made that the subconscious mind works and is most fertile when you are relaxed. When you're in the car driving or when you're at your job working, a lot of us, we are not in a relaxed state. So when we say affirmations, it's basically futile because our subconscious minds are not believing what we're saying because we're not in a relaxed state for the subconscious mind to receive what it is that we are constantly affirming to ourselves. Understand for every one person that you see in a comment section that's like, yeah, robotic affirmations work for me. For every one person you see that say that in the comment section, there's probably 20 to 50 people who it's not working for. I really want all of y'all to wake up and to stop listening to people just because they have a mass following and actually start using and applying your common sense in your logic. Because if you don't use your common sense in your logic, all you're gonna do is give your money away to one of these big YouTubers who has a big following and you're gonna be let down and you're gonna be spending way more money than you're supposed to and potentially end up on antidepressants or going to therapy. And I don't want that for you. This microwave generation is really falling for microwave manifestations. And it's sad because it's really microwave manifestation manipulation. That's the real name. We are living in the times where there's a last of a dying breed, a solid select few group of people that are left that really wanna help you guys get long lasting results and not just take your money. Do whatever you can, do your absolute best to find these people that actually want to help you and not just get paid by you.